Silo Rebel Sports is live. Rebel Red sponsors include C&D Cattle, First Texoma National Bank, Ford's Guide Service, Razor Blade Salon, Olivia's Jewelry, Texoma Ready Mix, Taco Casa, Roloffs, K&D Customs, Plumped Injectables and Beauty Box, Parker and Mitchell Heating and Cooling, Crossing Arrows Hotshot, First United, Rebel Nutrition, Hotshots Coffee, SNL Collision Center, Red River Pet Resort. Rebel Red sponsors also include All Seasons Contracting, Triple Threat Baseball Club, Texoma Pit Stop and Real Fishing Guide Service. It's time for Silo Rebel Baseball. Here is your voice of the Rebels, Kevin Farr, and the best fifth grade sports caster in the business, Asher Ludrick. And we're back. As uh, it's the uh, state championship game once again here from Bricktown Ballpark. As uh, we'll pause while they play the uh, national anthem before today's contest. And the National Anthem before uh, today's uh, contest. Uh, <coughs> as the uh, two teams have uh, taken the uh, field silo, going to be the home team. And uh, the uh, Rebels are uh, going to be the home team. And uh, so we're going to wait for the uh, start here. Of, uh, they're going to have the uh, Storm Siren going off. And this is a scheduled 12.05 start time. As uh, we get set to uh, for the uh, start of this uh, contest. And this audio only broadcast will be back with you here in just one second.
It's going to be Silo and Rattan today for the uh, Class A Fall State Championship. <coughs> Glad you're along with us today for this audio-only broadcast. Kevin Farr along with uh, my man Asher Ludrick, the best uh, fifth-grade uh, commentator in the uh, business. Has got a shot of the uh, scoreboard out there in center field. And we'll have the audio uh, broadcast here from high atop Bricktown Ballpark in Oklahoma City. As it's the uh, Rebels 24 and 5 on the season, a couple of uh, dramatic wins. They knock off Dale 4 to 3 and then Oktaha yesterday 10 to 8 to advance to this uh, contest and playing for a state championship once again. 10th time in the last possible 11 seasons that the uh, Rebels have been able to play in the uh, state finals, they're in it once again today, facing a Rattan team that was the Class A state champions last spring. So it's a battle of uh, state champions from last spring, Silo in 2A, Rattan in Class A, and they'll meet for this fall state title here this afternoon. Rattan, uh, they uh, got to this uh, contest. They had a couple of uh, tight ones as well as uh, they defeated Wright City in uh, the opening round of the uh, state tournament and then beat Okarchi yesterday. It was a one-run game uh, in the uh, fifth inning, and the uh, Rams pulled that out. Rattan going to have their ace on the mound. It's going to be Keegan Robertson to pitch in this uh, contest this afternoon for the uh, Rams, as you hear the uh, regular uh, Saturday uh, sounding of the uh, storm siren test here in Oklahoma City in the background. Robertson, an outstanding uh, southpaw on the uh, mound. And uh, he's going to get the start. Going to be a uh, tough assignment for the uh, Rebels in this one, he has been dominant, 7-0 uh, and record uh, this season with a 1.54 earned run average, 68 strikeouts for uh, Robertson on the uh, season. And that'll be uh, the uh, Rebels' foe as uh, they'll try to play small ball and do something against uh, Robertson in uh, this contest. For the Rebels, they're going to send out Landon Langley, the uh, junior on the mound. Uh, the uh, three uh, seniors, uh, Kobe Smith, uh, Britton Salisbury, and Charlie Gardner, all unavailable due to uh, the uh, pitch counts over the uh, last couple of days. So all three unavailable. So uh, Langley's going to get the start on the mound here in this contest. We'll give you his numbers in just a moment as the uh, storm siren continues. I think it lasts for about three minutes, Asher, as, uh, well, we're back again. Fam probably, fami familiar sight for the uh, Rebels here at Bricktown Ballpark. It's probably going to be a tough game for the Rebels and, and Rattan. Very nervous in game. It's on the final game, and hoping to win is both teams and going to try to be loud to uh, cheer for their team. Now, final day of the uh, season here in this fall baseball campaign and the uh, Rebels as I mentioned uh, playing on the final day of the season for the 10th time in the past 11 campaigns the only uh, season they weren't weren't playing on the final day was the fall 2020 campaign when uh, they lost to Fort Cobb in the uh, semifinals and Fort Cobb ended up losing a uh, one nothing game to uh, Canute, I believe, in the uh, championship that year in the uh, finals here at the uh, Brick. But every other season for the last, every other time for the last 11 seasons that uh, they've been in the state tournament, Silo has been in the finals. And they'll try to uh, pick up uh, another state championship, the first under Eddie Jeffcoat here in this contest today. Uh, 
as the uh, Rebels take the field. Uh, get ready for the uh, warm-ups here. They're going to be the home team on the uh, scoreboard. And it's Landon Langley on the mound, the junior making his 10th appearance, fifth start of the uh, season. He has a 5-1 and one record with one save, 31 and a third innings pitched, has allowed 17 runs, 13 earned on 31 hits, struck out 29, walked 15, a 2.90 earned run average for the right-hander on the mound for the uh, Rebels this afternoon. They've got Langley available, also uh, Junior Gabe Hernandez, Braden Hill, and uh, probably uh, also... Uh, Sam Mendenhall and uh, Casey Spaulding, if they need them, uh, here in this contest. So the Rebels have s several options to go with in the pitching department. All uh, have uh, thrown at least uh, over seven innings uh, this season. Langley at 31, the most of the uh, group. And defensively for the uh, Rebels, it's Zane Sander at third, Daxter Thomas at short, Brent Salisbury plays second, Charlie Gardner at first. And in the outfield, Sean Weaver in left. Colby Smith mans the uh, spacious center field area. And then Gabe Hernandez in right. Jared House behind the plate with Langley on the mound. And big ballpark here at the Brick, so we'll see how that comes into play. A lot of spacious gaps could see. The uh, Rebels played on a big ballpark uh, back uh, earlier this season when we uh, were in uh, Missouri. And uh, you could see a lot of extra base hits on balls toward the uh, gap with all the uh, space in the outfield. We're set for the uh, first pitch. Langley on the mound. And he's facing Logan Smith, and the first pitch is a strike call. Underway here in the Class A State Championship from Bricktown Ballpark in Oklahoma City. Next one from Langley. Swung on, ground ball left side, through the hole, base hit. Well, that makes um, Rattan feel good, and that means... On the final game, they get a start off with a single. Yeah, just uh, took the uh, second pitch into a uh, left. Mentioned uh, Langley gives up about a hit per inning on the uh, season average-wise. Next batter for uh, Rattan is going to be Ben Ellis, the uh, third baseman. Steps in and a toss over to first. We've got a time called and a balk is called on Langley right out of the chute. A runner in scoring position. So Smith with the single. Langley called for the uh, buck. Uh, a little bit of nerves probably out there. Getting the uh, start in this uh, championship game on the mound. Here's the look at uh, second pitch home. Swung on pulled foul by Ellis. Toward the uh, silo dugout. Silo in the third base dugout. Rebels wearing the uh, gray uniforms with the uh, red uh, numbers and red trim. Rattan in the white with the uh, green numbers and green trim as well. A look at second pitch home, and it's inside for a ball. Here to Ellis. Runner at uh, second base is Logan Smith, following that uh, leadoff single. Once again, checks the runner. Pitch is just a little bit low, two and one. Rattan threatening here in the top half of the uh, first inning. No score thus far from uh, Bricktown Ballpark. Here's Langley's next delivery. Swung on, ground ball right back to him. Bobbles it for a second and looks toward third, but uh, going to have to go to first for the out. Thought about third for a uh, second, but the little bobble, uh, probably the wise move to take the uh, sure out at uh, first base. And there's one out. Langley tosses it over to Gardner. That brings up uh, James Childers, the uh, right-hand shortstop. Rebels are going to bring the infield in. Here with one out in the first inning. Hoping for a low-scoring game and line up the middle. Base hit to score the run. Childers takes the first offering from Langley and deposits it 
it into center field. So the Rams on the board, one nothing. Second hit of the uh, contest, and here comes Keegan Robertson, the uh, standout pitcher, batting from the left side. See if the Rams want to run. And going to stay there. Here's the ball hit toward left field. Sinking and going to fall in front of uh, Weaver. Was playing fairly deep out there in the spacious outfield. And Robertson just uh, flares that one the other way. Drops it in front of Weaver for the third hit of the uh, game for the Rams. Runners at first and second as Childers had to hold at second base. Silo in an early hole here. We saw him uh, fall behind uh, last fall. Never could come all the way back. But Langley trying to stop the bleeding here as he gets a strike called to the next batter. That's Keller Shockey at the uh, plate. Now uh, Langley's going to step off, look the runner back. Audio broadcast only here today due to OSSA regulations from the uh, state championship as that pitch outside for a ball to Shockey. Got a nice crowd here on a sunny Saturday afternoon. The final day of the uh, season. A 1-1 one, one from Langley is low, 2-1. Look at second once again, and that one is low and away. So three and one to count. And uh, there's one uh, misses low as well. It's ball four. So a little bit of a shaky start for uh, Langley. That uh, walk uh, loads the bases. Rebels sending Sam Mendenhall to the uh, bullpen uh, now as Eddie Jeffcoat heads to the mound. One out here in the first inning. Rams with a run, and they've got the bases loaded. Well, thus far, it's been uh, three singles, a balk, and a walk. Rebels have gotten one out. And Jeff Coates out there talking to uh, Langley as well as the entire infield for uh, Silo here. These guys have uh, been here before, but uh, very few saw action uh, last uh, spring in the state championship contest. So let's see. The next batter is going to be Kobe Taylor. Base is loaded. Rebels in at the corners, looking for a double play back on the middle infield. Runners go. The squeeze is on. It's bunted in front of the plate. The throw goes to first base. Gardner not at the bag, and he, the throw is late. He's safe on the uh, – they had the squeeze on, and Taylor got it down. The throw went to Gardner. He tried to tag the runner coming by. Taylor, and uh, they said he did not get him on the uh, tag. So Rattan has scored another run. It's 2 nothing. Going to go as a, a bunt single.
Gardner was not at the bag there, so uh, unable to get the out. Shade Cody, the next batter, same situation. Bases still loaded in one out, and the uh, Rebels in at the corners. They'd love a double play here to try to get out of this. The pitch from Langley, it's a strike call with the fastball. Rams have jumped out to the 2 nothing lead. Rattan's got a uh, young squad as well, very, fairly young squad. They've got uh, five players, either freshmen or sophomores, in the uh, starting lineup today. Here's the next pitch. It's a strike call. Oh, 2 Langley's next delivery. Swung on this one is sliced foul off the right side into the grandstand and out of play. Here's the 0-2. Swung on. That's popped back to the screen. Foul. Thilo just trying to get out of this inning. Already down two. Langley has the sign. Here's the pitch home. Swung on. This one's a towering fly ball to center field. Colby coming in. Smith has it. The throw coming home, and the runners are going to hold as that was uh, fairly shallow on the pop-up that time. Yeah, it was just what. Very high, but he still makes the out. But he, he tried to go to home plate, but it was just a bit high. Yeah, just under that, it was a towering fly ball to center. But that's the uh, second out. Now the Rebels can back up defensively on the infield. Ranks to the plate, trying Teague, the designated hitter, and he swings and misses on the uh, first offering here. See if Langley can get out of this without any further damage. Look at second, pitch home, and that one outside for a ball. Here's the next one from uh, Langley, and it's inside, and that, uh, I think that nicked off the bat foul. So I was fortunate there as it goes off the bat. One and two. And the pitch from Landon. Uh, strike three called. He got him looking, and Rebels manage to work out of the uh, jam, get a pop-up and a uh, strikeout to avoid any further damage by the Rattan. The Rams get two runs on four hits and leave the bases loaded in the top of the first. It's Silo 2, or excuse me, Rattan 2 and Silo coming to bat when we come back here for the uh, bottom of the uh, first inning. So it's senior lefty standout, Keegan Robertson on the mound for 
Rattan, and he has been uh, dominant throughout the uh, fall campaign. 45 and a third innings pitch. He has 68 strikeouts. A 7 and 0 perfect record for the uh, Rams and a 1.54 earned run average. And Robertson fresh and ready to go for the uh, Rams in this one. See what the uh, Rebels can do against him. Going to need to work some counts and uh, play some small ball. Here's the uh, first pitch. Zane Sander watches upstairs for a ball. Sander, the team leading hitter at 494, a 577 on base percentage from the uh, leadoff spot. And he squares, pulls back, and takes strike, or excuse me, a ball upstairs, 2 0. 494 average for Zane, nine doubles, a home run, 27 RBIs, 31 runs scored. And here's one just off the plate, ball three. So Robertson a little amped up here to start with. That's 3 0 to the leadoff batter, Zane Sander. Good to get a leadoff walk, but well, the Rebels would like it. Yeah. 3-0, he's taken here. It's high for ball four. So four in a row out of the uh, strike zone from the uh, Ram ace. Rattan, the uh, favorite coming into this contest, but we saw strange things happen last fall when the uh, Re Rebels came in as the uh, favorite, and they were upset by Dale. Eddie Jeffcoat, the coach, he went in as the underdog in that one as well. So Colby Smith comes to the uh, plate. Third baseman playing in on the uh, grass. That's Ellis, and the first pitch high for a ball. Rebels taken here. Robertson having trouble finding the zone. Smith hitting at 355, six doubles, a pair of triples, 17 RBIs, and 32 runs scored. Sander leads the team in stolen bases. He's got 21 over there, but probably not running at the moment, at least, as there's a strike. As Colby taken all the way after five in a row out of the uh, zone. See if uh, Silo decides to do something now. Robertson checks first. Here's the pitch home. It's bunted by Smith in front of the plate. Catcher comes out the field. The throw to first is in time. And Sander is hung up between second and third. Oh, in a rundown over there. Now the throw toward the uh, third baseman and misses the tag. Well, Zane is close. safe at third. It was close, but I kind of got worried he might have tagged him, but he still was safe at third. So, uh... Now the umpire is going to talk about it, but uh, the only one that had a view there was the uh, third base umpire. Actually, he's going to come talk to Michael Clay, the uh, Rattan head coach. Sander rounded second, kind of got hung out uh, in no man's land there after the uh, bunt and managed to uh, be safe after the uh, rundown. So uh, Rattan unable to uh, get the rundown. Sato has a runner at third with just one out. As Sander goes all the way to third base, fortunately for Silo. Now the next batter is Brenton Salisbury. He takes one high and inside for a ball. Ellis was thinking a bunt was on. He was charging from third. Here is the next one. Up and in once again, 2-0. So Salisbury batting 456. Seven doubles, a triple, 28 batted in. Looking for 29 here and a Pizzolo on the board in the uh, first inning. A pitch from Robertson, and it's in there for a strike call. Sander 90 feet away down there at third base. Ellis creeping in with him. The next one, and it's... On the inside corner for strike two. Salisbury squared, pulled back. Looks like he's found the strike zone just a little bit, though. 
You know, Rebels need something in play here to try to score Sander from third. Here's the pitch high for a ball, and the count runs full to Britton Salisbury. Silo threatening to cut into the lead. The pitch home, swung on and fouled. So Britton spoils that one. And the payoff pitch from Robertson comes in, and it's swung on and missed. Salisbury goes down swinging for out number two. Brings Charlie Gardner to the plate, the Rebels' RBI leader on the uh, season, batting 429, seven doubles, three triples, two homers, 34 batted in, and he watches a breaking ball for a strike. Can't afford to waste scoring opportunities. Every run essential for the R Rebels. As the next one to Gardner is in the dirt for a ball. Charlie with those 34 RBIs. He's also scored 22 times. Next one from Robertson. Swing and a miss. A ball and two strikes. Robertson with the sign. The pitch home. Swing and a miss for strike three. Two in a row. Go down swinging. Robertson living up to the uh, billing. 68 strikeouts on the uh, season. Probably the best in all of Class A. And he's... Fans two in a row with the uh, once the Rebels got a runner at third. In the inning for Silo, no runs, no hits, a man left, and we move to the second. Rattan two, and Silo, nothing. Going to be 9, 1, and 2 in the order for uh, the Rams here in the uh, second inning. Glad you're along with us today for this audio-only broadcast from the uh, Class A State Championship game from Bricktown Ballpark in Oklahoma City. And the uh, first delivery there to Zayden uh, Watts is low for a ball. Langley back out there for his second inning of work. Here's the next one, and it's going to get a strike call. And there's one a little bit low. It's been an incredible run by the uh, relatively inexperienced uh, Rebels, at least playoff inexperiences. There's a strike call. Next one from Langley, swung on ground ball toward short. Fielded there by Thomas. Daxter throws over in time, and there's the first out. One gone here in the second. Back to the uh, top of the order. Here comes Logan Smith to the uh, plate. Smith reached on a walk, ended up scoring, or actually had the single. Here's a ground ball right side, diving stop by Gardner, and he throws it wildly toward the first, and it goes toward the Rattan dugout. 
That was a great stop on the diving stop, but then uh, from the uh, laying on the ground, he just uh, reared back and threw it, wild, threw it wildly toward uh, first. Langley was trying to get over there and cover. So the Rams have a base runner in scoring position once again with one out. That pitch popped up. Center field. Smith calls him off and makes the catch. On that pop up from Ben Ellis, there's two away. This guy had a very good hit right up the middle. Yeah, they. Uh, Three-hole hitter James Childers at the uh, plate now for the Rams. Two down. The uh, pitch swung on, pulled foul. Almost trying to get out of this without uh, giving up any more. They uh, trail 2 nothing, and Runs are going to be tough to come by against Keegan Robertson, I uh, expect, here today. Pitch was low for a ball. 1-1 one, one the count. Langley checks second. Coming home, and that's outside. 2-1. Next pitch, and that's inside, nearly hit him there. Three won the count. And Langley delivers. One just missed off the corner for ball four. Second walk issued. Rams have four hits. Now here's Keegan Robertson. He can do it with the bat as well. Had a hit his last time. In that two-run first inning, a pitch home and misses away for a ball. Langley delivers the strike now. Evens the count. Pitch home, swung on, popped, foul, left side. It's going to get out of play. Well, one ball, two strikes. Next one from Langley. That's behind the batter. Here's the uh, throw to third as House was able to get over and snag it somehow. The throw to third is late. Runners are going to advance on that wild pitch. I don't know how he uh, fielded that behind Robertson, but he did. Me either, but, like, the ball was just sitting there, and he almost got close of getting him out at third. The throw got there, but not quite in time as both runners advanced, and uh, the next pitch is... Outside, 3-2. 
Count full here to Robertson. Langley with the payoff pitch. It's high and away, ball four. Second walk in this inning, third of the game. Keller Shockey, the next batter. They're loaded with Rams again, and Shockey's going to foul that one off. See if they can uh, battle out of this jam once more. They Rebels got out of a bases-loaded jam in the uh, first inning, but uh, Rattan scored two before that. Here's the next one from Langley. It's fouled at the plate. Nothing in two. Need something good to happen right here, Asher. Yep, anything could, anything would be good right now. Here's the 0-2. Swung on, back up the middle base hit. That wasn't good. In the center field, one run is in. Here comes the second to the plate. It's 4-0 Rattan. An 0-2 single back up the middle. Eddie Jeffcoat headed to the mound. Rattan is struck for two more here in the second inning, and that's going to be it for Langley. We're going to have a new pitcher for the Rebels. Tell you about the new hurler. We come back here on SideofRebels.tv. It's going to be Sam Mendenhall, the uh, sophomore to the uh, mound for Silo here. And Mendenhall making his fifth appearance of the uh, season. Seven and a third innings pitch. He has allowed six runs, four earned, 11 hits, struck out seven, walked four, a 3.81 earned run average. And... On here with two outs in the uh, second inning. Try to stop the bleeding and get the uh, Rebels back to the plate. Batter's going to be for uh, Rattan, Kobe Taylor. Our setter to uh, face Mendenhall. Neighbor had the uh, bunt single his last time up. That one in front of the plate that the Rebels weren't covering first on. He swings on this one. First pitch popped up right side of the infield. Salisbury calls everybody off and makes the grab. And Mendenhall gets out of it in one pitch. To hold the uh, Rams at four. But two more runs in the inning for Rattan. Just one hit is all it took, thanks to a couple of walks. And we head to the bottom of uh, the uh, second inning. It's Rattan four and Sato nothing.
Going to be five, six, and seven in the order for uh, Silo. As Robertson got a nice uh, rest there between innings. So Jared House is going to be the leadoff batter. In the second, House, the uh, junior batting at 273, four doubles, a triple, 14 RBIs. And he watches the uh, first one from Robertson. A bit outside for a ball. Here's the next one from the lefty. It's upstairs. Well, it was at the start of the inning, last inning, where Robertson had his control issues. The first five pitches were out of the strike zone. Gets that one in there for a strike call after going 2-0. and oh. Here's the next one from uh, Robertson, and it's down Broadway. House watches it for strike two. I'm going to have to battle here. 2-2 swung on this one. Line to right field, base hit. Rebels had the first hit of the game. House goes the other way with that line drive over the head of the uh, second baseman. Watts. Well, that's a good way to start an inning. Always makes you feel good. It's better than a walk or anything or a ground out. It's probably one of the best things to start off an inning, a single, any type of hit. Yeah, the uh, Rebels had the leadoff aboard once again. They had the leadoff on in the last inning but failed to score. Jake Langley, the uh, courtesy runner at first base, the uh, freshman, he has 21 runs, scored 13 stolen bases on the year. And Sean Weaver at the uh, plate. Watches the first pitch inside for a ball. Ellis, the third baseman, expecting a bunt. He's in about, well, I would say, six, seven feet there. In on the grass at third base as next one misses as well. It's 2-0 and oh to Weaver. Rebels have a base runner. We'll see uh, if they can... Uh, do some maneuvering. Coach Eddie Jeffcoat has been the uh, small ball master here in this uh, impressive uh, run to the uh, state finals. Here's a uh, square, and Weaver pulls back and takes the uh, strike called as Ellis was about halfway in that time from third. <clears throat> Weaver hitting 328, four doubles, nine RBIs on the uh, season. And the pitch inside for a ball. He squared and pulled back, and it's three and one. Got to start somewhere if you're a silo here. And uh, Weaver's going to call time and go down and talk to uh, Coach Jeffcoat. Now at third base. Meeting is over. Now we're set to go. Robertson checks the runner. Langley over there at uh, first. And the 3-1. He squares again, pulls back, and takes ball four. So first two have reached here in the second. Going to be an infield meeting as Michael Clay headed to the mound as well for Rattan. So Sano has something working here in the second. As I mentioned in the uh, back in the uh, first inning, you've got to take advantage when you get opportunities to score in games like this because runs could be hard to come by against the uh, 
ace lefty, Karma Tan. The both teams talking it over now. As the umpire goes out to break up the uh, conference. Gabe Hernandez will be the next batter. Gabe, 333 average, three doubles, seven RBIs. And he squares and uh, bunts through it, misses for a strike. Rebels were trying to bunt him over. Corner infielders playing to step in. Here's the next one to Gabe, and it's strike called for strike two. Nothing in two. Looking to get something in play now. Squares, pulls back, and watches it high for a ball. So Rebels... Still had the bunt on with two strikes there. Robertson looks at second. The lefty comes home, swing and a miss for strike three. Third strike out. Sam Mendenhall, the next batter. Mendenhall came on in relief on the mound. Top half of this inning, batting 308, four doubles, 15 RBIs. Third baseman Ellis playing back even with the bag now. As the first pitch is high for a ball. Not expecting Sam to bunt, but we saw Sam had the uh, great bunt single back in the regional finals. Last Thursday. Throw to second, and they're picked off. Pickoff play at second. The Rebels get picked again as Langley picked off of second base for the second out. So two down. And the next pitch to Mendenhall is a strike called. Here's the next one. Swung on is sliced foul to the screen off the right side. A ball and two strikes here to Mendenhall. Pitch home. A little bit high. Evens the count at two and two. Robertson now at 36 pitches. And this one delivers. Swung on. Lined and a leaping grab by the uh, shortstop. Ball was scorched off the bat of Mendenhall, but a nice play by the uh, Rattan shortstop Childers as he uh, took about every inch he had, leaps up and snags that one. It was destined for center field off the bat. Found so, a good way to catch that one. I mean, he just jumped up and caught it and got into the next inning. I bet he was a bit very happy about that one. Yeah, lines out. That's Mendenhall. We head to the third. Rattan still leading 4 nothing on Silo. Back with more coming up.
So men and all back out to the mound for this third inning. And his first pitch of the uh, frame is it misses high for a ball. Shade Cody, 7 8 9 in the order for Rattan here. It's missed for a ball. And the next one swung on, popped back, foul, and out of play. Here's one swung on, hit towards center field, over toward the gap. Uh, Colby Smith makes the uh, catch. That one hung up off the bat of Cody. Ryan Teague, the next batter. There's a strike call. Men and all, ready to go. And delivers, swing and a miss. O oh, two. Eyes the sign and the pitch. Just a little bit high there. Next one from Mendenhall. Swung on a miss. Got the strike up. Well, that gets him a, the first strike out. Well, Sam's retired three in a row since he came on in relief. Maybe he can settle these uh, Ram bats down a little. As this pitch bunted in front of the plate. House comes out the field to throw the first plenty of time as Gardner steps on the bag, and that'll be the inning. That was kind of a quiet inning for Rattan. Well, that works. For the Rams, no runs, no hits. Nobody left on. They go in order in the third to the bottom of three. It's Rattan four, silo nothing. So Mendenhall has uh, settled things down on the mound a little bit for the uh, Rebels, but uh, they're going to have to uh, find some offense to try to dig out of this 4-0 uh, hole. They've had the leadoff batter on in each inning. In fact, first two on in the uh, last frame, but uh, the pickoff at second base just killed them. <laughs> Here's the pitch from Robertson to begin the uh, third, and it's a strike call to Daxter Thomas. And there's a check swing, said he did not go around. Next one to Daxter, there's a called strike. See, on the uh, season, Thomas hitting a 319, a double, 15 RBIs. Trying to get something going here for Silo. As this one swung on, caught late, fouls it off.
There's a pitch in the uh, dirt. Evens the count of two and two here to Thomas, starting the third inning. Robertson delivers, and that one is swung on and just got a piece of it to stay alive. Nicked off the catcher. Umpire goes out to uh, try to give him a little bit of time. And the next one is swung on. Ground ball hit the first, right to the uh, first baseman who fields and steps on the bag. One down, lead off out here in this inning. Zane Sander up. Here's one swung on. This one uh, struck to center field, but it dies in the air, and Smith coming in makes the catch. Two quick outs. Colby Smith to the plate with two outs. Rebels down 4 nothing here in the uh, third inning of this Class A state championship game. Against Rattan ace Keegan Robertson. And his first pitch to uh, Smith this time. High for a ball. Colby had the bunt. Sacrifice bunt his first time. Watches one and called a strike on the inside corner. Two down here, and the next one from Robertson. It's in the dirt. Kevin Farlock with my man Asher Ludrick on uh, commentary today. Colby squares, pulls back, and watches it upstairs. Three and one. And this one swung on, and a uh, one-hopper. Hard hit ground ball to short, but Childers stays with it and throws him out at first as Colby tries to dive in head first. So the Rebels retired in the um, third inning. They go in order once again. No runs, no hits, and nobody left on. We head to the fourth. With the Rams up for zip. We'll see if uh, Mennonal can uh, throw up another zero here in the uh, fourth, Asher. Yeah, I mean, he, got, he didn't let any hits last time. Yeah, it was, uh, he's been, uh, he's been good against those, but we'll on, see uh, do on point beat. since he came in, retired four in a row. And his first pitch to uh, Logan Smith. They're back at the uh, top of the order as it's low. Third time through uh, the uh, batting order here for Rattan already. As the strike is called. He's did good against those 7, 8, and 9, but we'll see what he can do on the top of the lineup. Yeah, as they're coming up here, there's a check swing. He went around. Nice breaking ball that time from Mendenhall. Count one and two here to Logan Smith. And the pitch home. Swung on. This one hit well. Right center field backing up as Colby Smith reaches up and makes the catch. He was playing deep. 
He just got a little bit under it. Yeah, but uh, hung up just enough for Colby to get over there. So the fly out to right center. For the first out of the inning, Ben Ellis, the next batter. Ellis swings on the first pitch, ground ball, diving grab by uh, Sander. He comes up and throws over in time. Nice play there by the sophomore third baseman. It was a good play. He had to, like, bend for it, but he still, got, he still grabbed it and got the out at first. Yeah, Doe to his left, knocked it down, got up and threw him out. Two quick outs here in the uh, fourth. Next pitch from Sam is upstairs. Mendenhall's got them on their heels a bit. Delivers there for a strike call. That, one's, that one was a, a little bit faster than all the other ones. 1-1, one, one, swung on ground ball toward the middle. Thomas on the move, and he tries to uh, snag it and throw it at first, but it uh, bobbles out of his glove for an error. Tried to field it on the move, and just couldn't get it transferred enough. Rattan has a base runner with two outs. Childers, a threat to run over there at first base. Keegan Robertson, the batter. And he watches that one low and away. Men and all with the quick throw to first. They got him. Childers was leaning, and Mendenhall with the pickoff at uh, first base. They were getting ready to steal, and the uh, Rebels caught them. The Rebels might want to get some hit hits here and try to get on the board a little bit. Yeah, see if they can uh, do something here with uh, three, four, and five coming in the order. When we come back from Bricktown Ballpark, bottom of the fourth inning here in the Class A state championship game. Britton Salisbury, the uh, leadoff batter for the uh, Rebels here. In the bottom of the uh, fourth inning, Robertson at an even 50 pitches and delivers low for a ball. The first offering here to uh, Salisbury. Britton watches that one for a strike call. Third base, Manella sneaking in as there's a swing and miss. One and two, the count. Next pitch in. That one's inside to Salisbury. Evens it up. Upstairs for ball three. Count goes full. 
Estalo can get the lead off aboard once more. They have un been un unable to scratch anything across against Robertson so far. This one swung on, and it's popped up. Shallow right field going out as a second baseman. Watts, and he makes the catch. Next batter is going to be Charlie Gardner. And he watches one inside for a ball. And there's a strike call. I was just trying to find some base runners as it's another called strike. They've had a couple of scoring opportunities, but have been unable to capitalize as this one's fouled back to the screen. One, two to Gardner. Swung on this one's line toward right field. Going to drop in front of the right fielder. Tabor for a base hit. Just the second hit of the game for Silo as Gardner gets a one-out single. That brings Jared House to the plate. He's got the other hit. And House watches upstairs for a ball. Last time Rebels had uh, runners on, they got picked off to uh, thwart the scoring opportunity. Yes, that one misses. High and away, 2-0. Now Robertson steps off. The back of the mound. Now. Pose himself a little bit. Now he's ready to go as there's one up and in. Ball three to House. A little more difficulty uh, throwing strikes out of the uh, stretch, seems like, this afternoon. And there's ball four for uh, the uh, big lefty. House draws the walk, four pitches. Rebels have a couple on once more here in the fourth inning, and here comes the runner. It's going to be Jake Langley out there running it. First base. Similar situation. We saw the Rebels, uh, the Rams run a pick off play and get the Rebels napping. In the second inning, as there's a strike called to Sean Weaver. Two aboard. In at the corners. Pitch bunted toward the third baseline. Nice bunt there by Weaver. Robertson comes over to field. Nobody home at third base at first base. He's safe on a bunt single. As Watts just got there late. That ball looked like it might ha be heading to right field on the throw from Robertson. That's a nice play by Watts to keep it from uh, going all the way to right field, Asher. Yeah, I mean, he was just running right to first, but he just got the ball right there. And, I mean, it would have just scored a run for the Rebels. If that, if he, if that he well, at, le that. at least one is that one uh, might have rolled down into the right field corner and Scored Langley as well, but uh, that play by Watts keeps the Rebels off the board, but they've got them loaded with one out. Gabe Hernandez at the plate. See what Gabe can do here. They got him played to go the other way to right field as pitch from Robertson is high for a ball. Biggest threat 
so far today for Sano. They've got the tying run to the plate here in the fourth. The pitch coming home, and it's a strike. Hernandez taking all the way. Gabe's got seven RBIs on the uh, season, limited at bats. Chance for a couple big ones here. Next delivery, and it's in there for strike two. Taken. Got a big gap in left center if uh, he could find it here. One and two to game. And he calls time as the uh, pitcher, Robertson, was taking a lot of time out there. Hernandez went down swinging his first time up. See if he can get one in play here. The next pitch swung on him as Robertson comes back and gets a strikeout. So Sam Mendenhall trying to help himself out here. Going to need a two-out hit or something to happen now. As the pitch from Robertson is a called strike. Rebels taking a lot of strikes to, till they get the two outs. Taking a lot of pitches here from Robertson. And the next one is a called strike two. Gives the lefty the advantage now. He's got an 0-2 count. In the pitch, strike three called. Back-to-back -back strikeouts after the Rebels loaded the bases. First silo, no runs, two hits, three left. We move to the fifth. Four-nothing, Rattan. So Mendenhall back out there. He has silenced the Rams, throwing up a couple of zeros. Going to need another one here. As Sidle down four, and the first pitch swinging. Robertson hits this one back up the middle for a base hit. Single on the first pitch of the fifth. Keller Shockey, the next batter. And a breaking ball by uh, Mendenhall stays low. Shockey has a hit. One of the six for a 10 as this one uh, misses low. It's 2-0. Strike called. Pickoff throw to first, not in time. As Robertson was back in safely. Mm -hmm. 
And there's strike two. Count even a two and two. That's single by Robertson. First hit that Mendenhall has allowed. Here's the pitch. Misses for a ball. Runner going. And the throw it deflects off of uh, Salisbury. Nobody was at the bag. Salisbury got there late as Robertson took off to second. And he was behind the bag. And fortunately, it uh, didn't uh, deflect very far as uh, the throw went off of Salisbury. And it's a stolen base. Rams running on 2 2 there. Now it's second with nobody out. Ground ball, left side. Daxter to his right, fakes the throw to first and holds it. Now fake the throw to first and I think he was trying to see if the runner at second would take off. Did not. So. That allows the runner to reach. Fielder's choice. Probably would have had a chance to get him at first base, but uh, Daxter elected not to throw it. As Robertson was staying put at second on the ground ball to short. Two on, nobody out. Rams threatening again. Kobe Taylor at the plate. Corners in on the infield as the pitch is bunted foul. Next one bunted. Mendenhall comes to field, throws the first, and the out there. As Gardner catches it and then uh, has to find the bag, steps on it for the out. Sacrifice bunt moves both runners. Now two in scoring position for one, or uh, with one out for Shade Cody. Rebels are going to bring the whole infield in now. Already down four. Trying to cut this run off of the uh, plate is the first pitch high for a ball. Here's the next one, low and away. It's Cody, and then uh, it'll be Try on Teague. There's a strike call from Mendenhall. Youngsters at the bottom of the order here for Rattan. Pitch for Mendenhall. It's in the dirt. 3-1. Look at second, pitch home, swung on, ground ball to third. Sander has it. He'll throw to first as he looked the runner back, and the Rebels get the out they were looking for with the drawn in infield. Looked the runner back to third and threw over, and there's two gone. Pinch hitter coming up. For Rattan, Chandler Graham is going to pinch hit. Or excuse me, that's Chandler Garman. Chandler Garman on to uh, pinch hit. As Garman... 
off the bench. The youngster for a 10. Silo playing really deep in the outfield. Bottom of the order here for the Rams. Pitch from Mendenhall, swing and a miss. That one was way outside, and Garmin chased it. That pitch was in the other batter's box, Asher. Yeah, like, but he, he just really wanted to hit it, but couldn't. Here's the next one, and it's a called strike as Garmin was taken there. No balls and two strikes. Mendenhall has the sign. Sam set at the belt. Pitch home. Strike three called. He got him looking there. So after the uh, swing on the pitch way outside, Mendenhall gets him with two straight down the middle. And the uh, Rams turn back in the uh, fifth inning. No runs a hit. Two left in scoring position. Silo coming back to the uh, plate. Looking to do something about this 4 nothing deficit when we come back here on SiloRebels.tv. Bottom of the uh, fifth inning, it's 9-1-2 and two in the order for Silo. Rebels need to make something happen here to try to cut into this deficit as the uh, first pitch from Robertson to start the fifth is upstairs for a ball to Daxter Thomas. Here's the next one. It's a strike called. He bunts at it and bunts through for a, a strike. A ball and two strikes here. Robertson delivers to the plate, swing and a miss. So uh, Dexter goes down swinging. To start the fifth, that'll be strikeout number six for uh, Robertson. Zane Sander back at the top of the order. And Zane watches the first pitch breaking ball for a strike. Here's the next one, high and away. Rebels third time through the order now, and there's one just missed off the corner, a little bit low, I believe. Robertson just motoring along, and he gets a strike call there. That pitch on the inside corner. Count evens at two and two. And the next one is a called strike three. Back-to-back -back K's for the uh, senior lefty. It'll be Colby Smith to the uh, plate. Two down here in the fifth. Watches upstairs for a ball. Okay. 
And the next one. Inside ball two. Believers a strike there. Uh, Smith taking. 2-1 count. That one's inside. Moves the count to three and one. And Robertson delivers here up and in. Back to Edwin gets by the catcher to the backstop on ball four. It's a two-out walk to Kobe Smith. Brings uh, Britton Salisbury back to the uh, plate. Britton 0 for 2 today. And the pitch is a strike call. Smith leads away at first. And a pickoff throw over. Token toss there from Robertson. Rattan, two runs in the first, two in the second. That has stood up since. 90th pitch of the game, and that one off the glove of the catcher gets by, and uh, Colby headed to uh, second base. Another wild toss. Here comes uh, Coach Michael Clay headed to the uh, mound to talk to Robertson and the Ram infield as. Robertson has reached the 90 pitch mark. Still a ways from the uh, pitch limit, but uh, not sure how much he's got left in the uh, tank. Rams, four early runs, but uh, Mendenhall is come in and uh, shut them out since those four early. Now the meeting is over. Rebels with a scoring opportunity once again. A 1-1 one, one pitch to Salisbury, swing and a miss. Smith at second. Robertson eyes the sign and delivers. Britton just got a piece of that one, fouls it off. One, two, once again, swung on. This one's hit in the air toward left field. It's going to drop in. Smith got a great read, and he's going to score from second on that bloop single to left. The Rebels on the board. A sensational read by Colby Smith on the base pass is that one. I couldn't tell from here if it was going to uh, be caught or not, but uh, he got a great read at second, took off immediately, and scores. On the RBI single by uh, Brent Salisbury, the lead cut to four to one. Big two out hit there from Salisbury. Throw over to first, not in time. So Silo finally manages to crack the scoreboard. After miss firing on three opportunities earlier, as this one to uh, Charlie Gardner is low for a ball from Robertson. That was uh, Salisbury's first hit of the game. Gardner's got a hit today. 
Just the fourth hit of the afternoon for Silo. Here's the next one to Charlie, and it's a strike call. Yeah, he had a good single his last time up. Yeah. Went the other way on that one. A line shot. Next pitch, swing and a miss. Big cut there. Back pick throw uh, to uh, first, not in time. Count one and two. A look at first, pitch home, swung on, and uh, fouled back and out of play by Gardner. Hit like right on the wall right there. Now, yep. that one off the end of the bat stays alive. One and two the count. Milo has uh, broken the ice a bit. Here's a swing and miss. Breaking ball in the dirt. Goes down swinging for out number three. Three strikeouts in the inning, but Silo does get a run on one hit. They leave one onto the sixth. It's Rattan 4 and Silo 1. Back with more coming up here on SiloRebels.tv. Swing and a miss by the uh, first batter of this thing. And there's another one that just getting a piece of it was Zayden Watts. 0 oh, and 2 the count. Mendenhall back out. On the mound. Pitch high for a ball. Here's one uh, Watts is going to pull just foul. A little bit out in front there. Sam has been effective since he came on in relief. This one swung on back up the middle base hit. Well, just as I uh, talk about it, second hit that uh, Mendenhall has allowed. Watts gets the single there. And the nine hole is aboard for uh, Rattan. They've got the top of the order coming now with Logan Smith at the uh, plate. Strike called on the outside corner. Not sure how much Mendenhall has in the uh, tank. They had uh, Gabe Hernandez loosening up. Here's the pitch, swung on, opposite field, headed toward the uh, left field line, just foul down that way as uh, Rebels given chase, I believe, oh, that's Casey Spaulding in left field. So Spaulding in the game now. And uh, the pitch outside for a ball.
One two delivery swung on by Smith back to center field. Colby backing up and makes reaches up and makes the catch. Gave that one a pretty good ride. So a fly out the center. Ben Ellis, the next batter. And pitch misses for a ball from Mendenhall. Checks the runner at first. This one swung on, popped up on the infield. See who's going to call it. Salisbury calls everybody off and makes the catch. On the high pop-out. Pitch in the uh, dirt now to uh, James Childers with two outs. Childers has a hit for the uh, Rams, and he watches that one low. Robertson's on deck. He's got two hits in the game, two of their uh, seven. And that one's way outside by Sam. It's 3-0. and oh. <laughs> A Danger territory with uh, Robertson on deck. And there's ball four. Going to move the runner into scoring position. As I mentioned, uh, Robertson, he's got a couple of hits today. Loop single is first time up. He also walked. Swings on the uh, first pitch. Ground ball right side. Salisbury up with it and throws over in time and gets the out. So uh, the Rams averted there in the uh, sixth. As Mendenhall works out of it after the leadoff single. No runs, a hit, two left for the Rams. On to the bottom of the sixth inning. Silo down four to one here in the Class A state championship. Five, six, and seven in the order for the uh, Rebels here as we head to the bottom of the sixth inning. Silo down three. They scratched across a run in the last frame, but here's first pitch, and uh, House watches it for a strike. That one's high for a ball to Jarrett. That was 100 pitches on the day for Keegan Robertson. Here's the next offering. And a little bit low there. This one 
Misses outside on 2-1. House has been aboard a couple of times. Hit and a walk. And high and tight, ball four. Well, the Rebels had the lead off aboard. Of That's what you need here. Langley's coming out the pinch run. Jake Langley, the freshman, or courtesy run, excuse me. Sean Weaver will bat. Pitch from Robertson, and it's low for ball one. A leadoff walk here in the uh, sixth. Robertson may be uh, tiring a bit. This will be his 105th pitch, and it's inside, ball two. We were taken all the way now. Robertson has thrown one strike thus far in this inning. Here's the next one, and there it is. Down Broadway for strike one. We'll see if uh, Coach Eddie Jeffco puts something on here. Third baseman uh, Ellis playing in on the grass. As he creeps in. Swing and miss uh, from uh, Sean. That one was uh, low and away. Helped out Robertson a bit there. Evens accounted two and two. A look at first, pitch home. And inside for ball three. Full count. Big spot, payoff pitch, upstairs, ball four. He's walked the first two in the sixth. The Rebels bring the tying run to the plate with nobody out. And we're going to have a hitter. It's going to be, that's Casey Spaulding, who came on defensively. Will hit Robertson at 109. Michael Clay headed to the mound to talk to his uh, senior lefty, his ace, and that may be it as for, if, and it will be it for Robertson. That's it for the uh, ace lefty. They're going to go to the uh, bullpen. And James Childers coming on in relief with Silo bringing the tying run to the plate. Back with more coming up here on SiloRebels.tv. So James Childers on in relief as he moves over from uh, shortstop. Logan Smith, the center fielder, goes to short. Robertson out to center. Now, it's going to be uh, Casey Spaulding to the plate, the uh, senior off the bench here in this inning, representing the uh, tying run. Rebels uh, need to get... At least one or two here to make it manageable in the uh, seventh. We'll see if the uh, bun is on here with Spalding at the plate. Casey limited at bats on the uh, season, batting 167, but he did have uh, some key at bats in the uh, regional finals against Wright City last week. Three army eyes on the season for Spalding. Up to face Childers here. Here we go. Key inning. If the Rebels are going to have a chance. Spalding watches strike one. Shutter checks second. Pitch home, and that's inside, bunted, and fouled. Now 
So nothing and two, the count here to Spalding. See what Eddie Jeffcoat puts on this time. Time is called. Now we're set to go. Childers set at the belt. Pitch home. Bunted and fouled. Going to go as a uh, strikeout there. So there's one down. Sato unable to execute that time. But there is still a tying run. Yeah, you know, still the tying run at the play, but there's one out for Sam Mindenall. And he watches one low and away. Here's the next one. Swung on. Ground ball toward the middle. Slow roller. Fielded by the uh, shortstop. Smith, his only play is going to be at first. He gets the out. Runners advance, but there are two outs now. And it's Daxter Thomas up. So Daxter was the key guy up uh, yesterday with two outs. Hit the ball back toward the middle that uh, caused all the uh, confusion. And uh, the Rebels managed to uh, take the lead against Oktaha. That came in the sixth inning as well. Here's the first pitch to Daxter. It's a called strike. Oh, looked a little high. A groan from the uh, silo crowd there. Rebels have uh, struck out nine times today. Here's the pitch. High. One and one. The sophomore Thomas at the uh, play trying to come through here and score one and if not two, is the pitch inside. Two and one. Baxter, 15 RBIs on the uh, season. Next one from Childers. Swing and a miss. Throw to second, and no. Nearly picked off on the uh, throw to second. Just back in. Rebels nearly got picked off again. Weaver barely under the tag. 2-2 two, two the count. Here's the pitch. Swung on, and it's sliced foul off the right side and out of play. Another chance to point some runs for Silo. Here's the 2-2, two -two, swung on, and it's lined right at the first baseman for the out. Shockey makes the grab. Got it in play, but uh, right at Shockey to end the inning. Sato, no runs, no hits, two left, both in scoring position once again. We go to the seventh. It's Rattan still leading 4-1. to one. Back with more coming up. So Sam Mendenhall back to the mound, and he has been uh, outstanding in four and a third innings of relief thus far. Came on a relief in the uh, second with the uh, Rebels down 4 nothing, and he has silenced the Rams. No runs, two hits, 
struck out two and walked one thus far, and he's trying to keep him at four here and give the Rebels a shot in the bottom of the uh, seventh inning with the top of the order coming up. He'll face the five, six, seven hitters for the Rams. Keller Shockey lead things off, and he watches one low for a ball. Here's the next one. Swing and a miss. Next one swung on ground. Ball pulled foul. And it's one and two. Mendenhall has been stellar out of the bullpen for Silo here today. The sophomore, right-hander, and swing and a miss. Got him on the raking pitch. There's one out. Third strikeout for Sam today. Next batter is Kobe Tabor, and he watches the first pitch just a bit inside. Here's the next one from Mendenhall. It's a strike call. One-one delivery. This pitch is in the dirt. And there's strike two. Swing and a miss. He got him. Back-to-back -back men and all strikeouts to start the seventh. Well, the sophomore just keeps dealing. First pitch strike here to the batter, Cody. Shade Cody. And another swing and a miss. Sam's got it working. High for a ball on that 0-2. And here's a ground ball hit to uh, short. Charging is Daxter. Throw to first, and in time, the out is recorded. That'll be the inning for Rattan. The Rams scoreless the last five innings. But still lead 4-1. to one. We head to the bottom of seven. Rebels' last shot coming up. They need three to tie, four to win.
So here we go. Bottom of the uh, seventh inning. Last chance for Silo. The uh, Young Rebels looking to rally here in the uh, state championship. And Childers' first pitch is in the dirt. Next one is a strike called as Sander taking a strike. Here's one up and in, ball two. Swung on, popped up on the infield. Childers calling. Now Shockey calls him off, makes the grab. Here's one out. Rebels have left eight on today. There's one out here in the seventh. Colby Smith at the uh, plate, and he watches one uh, low for a ball. Next pitch from Childers. It's in there for strike one. Ball on a strike. Smith watches that pitch high. Childers has his sign, and the next one swung on, and it's popped back foul and out of play. Evens a count of two and two. There's one outside in the dirt for ball three. The count is full. Payoff pitch coming from Childers and strike three called. Smith thought it was a ball inside, but it's called strike three. Two down here in the seventh. Tenth strikeout of the day. Byra Tan pitching. Rebels down to their last hope now. And Brenton Salisbury, and he takes strike one. Tan looking to celebrate its second state championship uh, here in this calendar year as they won the Class A title last spring. Pitch on and away. One and one. Here's the next one. It's low. Ball two. Should be the favorites for the uh, Class A uh, state title next spring as well. And there's called strike two. Count even here to Salisbury. Trying to extend it. Get Gardner to the plate here in the seventh. And the pitch swung on. Back up the middle off the glove of the uh, pitcher. Nice play by Smith. Throw to first, and he got him. Oh, my. What a play. A spinning throw from Smith behind the bag at second to get Salisbury out, and the uh, Rebels go down in the seventh. Rattan is the state champion once again. No runs, no hits, nobody left for Silo in the inning. And Rattan wins it 4-1. to one. Rams finish. Four runs, seven hits, no errors. Silo, one run on four hits and two errors. At the plate for uh, Silo, just uh, they had opportunities, but eight runners left on base in the uh, contest. And let's see. Brent Salisbury had a hit. Charlie Gardner, Jared House, and Sean Weaver all had hits, all singles in the uh, game. Salisbury with an RBI as well. 
And pitching-wise, Landon Langley got the start, went an inning and two-thirds. He allowed four runs, two earned on five hits, struck out one walk, three, and then Sam Mendenhall, the uh, sophomore, was sensational. Five and a third innings of relief, no runs, two hits, four strikeouts, and one walk to give the Rebels a shot, but they just could not cash in opportunities when they had them, leaving eight runners on base in the uh, contest, and they fall here today. Runner-ups for the Class A Fall State Championship for a second year in a row as Rattan wins the title this time out. Well, our next broadcast here on SolidRebels.tv comes up uh, in just about a month. November the uh, 14th, the basketball uh, time as the uh, Rebels will be at uh, Colbert for the uh, season opener. November 14th, we'll be there for that one. Me and Asher, as the uh, Rebels open up the round ball season, and uh, baseball team will be back uh, in the uh, spring for their first venture into Class 3A competition. So that's going to do it from uh, Bricktown Ballpark here in Oklahoma City. For my man Asher Ludrick from AsherLudrickSports.com, I'm Kevin Farr saying so long for now here on SiloRebels.tv.